Hey, I'm Russ. This is filming the music video Wired. Now that place behind me looks a little bit familiar because that's the opening shot of the Wired music video, which is our double wide trailer, which is where our recreation team meets and has their offices. This is Trigger. He lives by that double wide trailer, don't you? And where does the band and the crowd sing and dance for the Wired music video? That would be right here in Club Coco. So I end up following this guitar chord all over camp. We go through places like Jackson, which is the dishwashing machine at Camp Quanos. I go through the Key Rock Tower, but also I end up coming here by the Screamer, because I don't know if you notice this, if you look closely at the footage in the music video, I go off the Screamer with that brown guitar. That brown guitar, coincidentally, is the same guitar that Stevie G plays in the 2008 music video for Dare to Soar. Now towards the end of the Wired music video, you'll see me run up these stairs right here by the Club Coco building, and I follow the chord all the way along here, which seems to be the deck of Club Coco, following the sound of the band that's playing to crawl inside this window right here and join the band. At the end of the music video, keep an eye on the guitar strap going over my shoulder because sometimes it's there and sometimes it's not. And then it's back again. Why? The little strap lock broke and couldn't be fixed. So we had to keep filming without the guitar strap, but we shot things out of sequence as people usually do, which leads to continuity error. Monkeys like trees. You know what monkeys also like? Apparently they like being in music videos because if you look in the crowd of the Wired music video, you'll spot someone on our staff wearing a gorilla suit. Mike Kitchen and Kent McLeod were the guys who filmed the Wired music video, filming the music video, Wired.